Hello everybody. Welcome to another episode of Sema Story. This series aims at bringing the cultural aspects of each uh, month and each festival that we celebrate. The idea is to see how interlaced we are as a country. I'm going to start with Tamil traditions. I request everyone from every region whoever sees this to contribute to this saying let us say you're a Rajasthani and there are certain things that are specific to your region or you're a Punjabi and there are certain things specific to your region please contribute everything and we will see how interlaced we are as cultures while there are a lot of varieties there is a there are a lot of commonalities in the way we do things so let's try and celebrate our traditions together so i'm starting with the upcoming month which is the margari masam or the dhanur mas what is this margari masam we know that uh, krishna bhagwan said in geeta he identifies himself with the dhanur mas as in he is dhanur mas that's what he says so we know that krishna bhagwan has this thing of you know choosing the best so the i would say the best month of the year is dhanur mas because krishna bhagwan himself says i am dhanur mas of all the months Okay, so moving forward, what happens in Dhanur Mas in or the Margari Mas in in the Tamilian culture? Uh, people wake up very early in the morning, like around four o'clock, and they have a shower very early, and they go to the temples. This is a very important tradition that they do there, um, or rather that we do there. We go to uh, Vishnu temples mainly. Vishnu temples are open very early in the morning during this month. and there are a lot of puja and stuff that happens uh, in the temple and after that you get really hot pongal pongal is like your khichdi only thing is with black pepper and loads of ghee in it black pepper jeera and loads of ghee in it so they give this uh, salt pongal which is uh, the khichdi that i mentioned they also give you what is called as the sweet pongal so you get two uh, varieties of pongal alternatingly but mostly you get the salt pongal in the temples early in the morning it's yum you feel very hungry once you wake up early in the morning you go to the temple looking forward to the pongal prasadam so that's one thing then what is uh, what is happens you uh, have a lot of nag uh, nagar sankirtanam so what is nagar sankirtanam it is basically people go in groups around the city around small areas and they do bhajans early in the morning uh it starts around 4:35 when it is still quite dark and they go on until about 6 a.m people come to the house uh, i mean in front of the house and they do bhajans in with them as they pass through their homes or they join the group and they go behind go around the entire area there are also people who bring certain things like rice or fruits and they donate to the people who are doing these bhajans so these are things that are commonly seen during the margari masam during the nagara sankirtana there are organized bhajans in temples in sabhas sabhas are places where uh, these concerts happen so uh, there are bhajans that happen over there so a lot of people go and participate in these bhajans this particular month there is nothing that is uh, done for the individual family like there are no marriages there are, nobody moves ho- houses during this month uh, and the entire focus is about praying to god people read uh, take up to read ramayan people take up to read uh, bhagavad gita they read a lot of scriptures during uh, this particular month uh, they invite people and they give them food lot of uh, giving donation happens during this month and also uh, prayers having bhajans at home all this also happens so these are normal things that happen so people obviously go back to sleep very early in the evening like around 8 o'clock 8:30 because they have to wake up early in the morning also so this is traditionally what happens apart from this there are other things that happen in margari masam one of the main things is uh doing the rangoli in front of the house it's called kolam now this kolam kolam is done every day of the year but particularly in the margari masam the kolam is typically so huge so big people come up with their best skills in doing the kolam they spend uh like an hour hour and a half to to just make the kolam so they either do it very early like 4 o'clock wake up and do this kolam or they do it in the night itself before they go to bed so that early in the morning 
anybody comes and sees there's a fresh column in front of the house it is something that people go around to just see oh what is the column uh, that you have made what is the column that you have made so this is something that happens in fact in mailapur uh, a place in chennai there is a kolam festival that happens so there are many participants and uh, there is a, a huge uh, competition that happens so all the ladies come out they given a certain space they allocated a certain space on the road and in the space they do all the uh, they show how well they can do their kolam they do it so beautifully it is amazing one of the most important things about this kolam is they use only rice flour because uh, the idea behind doing this rangoli is it is to feed the ants that come so uh, all the ants and everything is fed so all 365 days they use only rice flour and uh, especially now they use uh, a lot more i don't, we don't un- understand the reason i would guess it is because uh, the atmosphere at 4 am is so good that they go for nagar sankirtan they go to the temples or you know do kolam so expose themselves to the outer atmosphere it has to do something with that is my guess then one other speciality of the margari masam or the dhanurmas is that people go for concerts or kacheris as it's called so what are these concerts these are music concerts that happen in huge sabhas all the singers from across the world like carnatic music singers they are invited and uh, there are their performances are scheduled like one sabha will have about four to six performances in a day like two two hour slots and uh, the concert halls are crazy full so people come from the us only for this one month so that they can attend all the concerts and go back so there are season passes for these sabhas uh, there are uh, these season passes for the entire music season uh, i think there's also a website for this i'll put it in the link Uh, so there are many such things this year everything is happening online uh, one beautiful thing about attending these sabhas and these kacheris kacheri is the carnatic music recital so uh, uh, attending these kacheris is that women wait for this one month so they can get dressed like they going for a wedding like the best of their silk sarees come out so uh, as the uh, north indians like to call it the kanchivarams so is this a kanchivaram sari so all the kanchivaram sarees are out on display they wear matching jewelry they wear you know it's like uh, the social uh, socializing time for them they go they enjoy the music they understand many of them understand the ragas they go with their friends saying hey did you like that raga did you like this singer did you see this singer has changed this one to this do you know that's a uh, kirtan i don't know why he has not sung that i don't know how uh, this lady is going to manage this oh this time uh, there are so many young artists who have come but you know i like that artist who used to sing in that year and you know there are so many things that it's like uh, kids sitting and talking about ipl that's how these aunties and uncles gather around and talk about these kacheris it's very interesting to see them in all their happiness so they forget their age they forget all the problems that they have with their health for them this one month it is all about you know just going and attending and socializing so the other aspect about going for these sabhas is the snack counters you get amazing coffees and snacks so each of these sabhas have employ the best caterer for that one month and the caterers will come up with the uh, with a very trendy variety of snacks on one end and very traditional variety also on the other end so there are, they cater to both kind of people whoever wants to try whoever wants to try something new they have that and whoever wants to stick to the originals they have that also so they will uh, so this is also something that is being discussed no 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 i'm not having snacks here i'm going to that sabha because that caterer is giving that one over there that particular snack over there so all these things happen so it's a lot of sabha hopping that happens and it's a beautiful time entire tamil nadu is very vibrant during this season there are a lot of uh, upanyasams that also happen now what is a upanyasam upanyasam is a pravachan or where uh, there are uh, people who are very learned who have uh, studied sanskrit they have studied the scriptures they can explain what is there in the scriptures they 
tell all these stories to regular people. So these sabhas are again filled with these upanyasakas as they are called and they beautifully recite stories of Krishna, Rama, Prahalada, you know so many different stories are being uh, said, uh, someone about Shiva and someone about uh, Hanuman. So all these things are being said and it's very beautiful. So the entire culture around this time is very vibrant. People have jasmine flowers on their head, beautiful patisaris. Men, of course, they wear their boring kurtas and dhotis. Uh, so it's all very nice. But what is nice about it is everybody has a smile. Everybody is going to temple. People meet so well, so uh, meet outside, inside the temples, in the sabhas. So it's a very vibrant culture. So there are two main festivals that uh, happen in Dhanurmas which I have not covered. Uh, one is um, during the Dhanurmas, a young girl by name Kodai or, or Anda, she used to wake up all her friends early in the morning saying, wake up, wake up, why are you still sleeping? We need to go to the temple. We need to see Ranganatha Swami. So Ranganatha Swami is in Sri Rangam. So she was in love with uh, Ranganatha Swami and she had decided that I'm getting married only to him and not getting married to anybody else. So her father was a priest in the temple and she had uh, from her very birth heard stories of Ranganatha Swami and Krishna and uh, all his tales. So she was in love with him and she decided that she's getting married only to him. Her father used to make this, this beautiful garland for Ranganath Swami and she used to wear it, stand in front of the mirror, see if it looks beautiful on her and only then she would pass it on to her father. Now this would happen without her father's knowledge. She would, uh, Her father wouldn't know that she wears it. But one fine day, one of the other priests found her hair on the mala and told her father, Kodai's father, that, you know, uh, I think your daughter is wearing this mala before giving because her hair strands are seen on this. Hearing this, he was very upset that, you know, she wears it before giving it to the God. But uh, God eventually came and said, she loves me so much uh, that she wears it and sees if it will actually look good, uh, good on me. And he says, can you actually give your daughter's hand to me in marriage? And here there is uh, no end to the joys of this father and he gets, gives her in marriage. So this entire month, the, when she goes and wakes up saying, come, 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 let's go to the temple. I want to see God. Come, 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 wake up fast, wake up fast. She goes and gathers all her friends before going to the temple. So every day she tells a reason saying, this is why we need to go and see him today. Come, 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 don't be so lazy. So this particular thing, every day they recite that one reason why you need to go and see God. Uh, that is something that's very special that happens in the Sri Vaishnavite tradition, which almost every family does today. The other thing that happens is Arudra Nakshatram, which is very special to Shiva, which is given in the Vedas, that on that nakshatra, if you just pray to Lord Shiva, Shiva becomes very happy. Just like how we know of Pradosha, there is one nakshatra also which is very very famous which is Aradra nakshatra for Shiva. Now this uh, star on in this particular month is extremely special for Shiva. I'm going to tell you the reason and I'm going to tell you how we're going to celebrate it in the next episode. Now I request whoever is listening to this to contribute in terms of what is it that they do during this Dhanurmas? What is it that uh, it means to them in their culture? Is there anything special? I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Thank you.